Contact is an extremely important training concept for every rider and every horse. There is a reason it is one of the elementary components of the training scale. Contact does not only mean connection to the horse, the horse's mouth, but also connection to the haunches. Very good. This kind of riding creates the contact we want. We do not establish contact with the hand or by riding the neck. I want to be able to ride the horse's entire body and that's how a good contact emerges. Contact is also always a mirror of the activity of the back, as well as a mirror of strength. Often horses simply haven't developed the strength yet to carry themselves, and then they get heavy in the hand and lean on the bit. We like to say, anything that leans doesn't carry. You can see the positive and cool connection on the reins. Dino is now working and carrying himself, but Benny still has a clear connection through his seat and with his legs. That was really good. True, absolute control can only develop through our body and the horse's hind legs and not through our hands. The control therefore develops with our seat and the haunches of the horse. As Benny already explained previously, our goal is to influence the horse only as much as needed, but as little as possible, especially with our hands. The contact is really nice. Generally, the bit should always be chosen to fit the given anatomy of the horse. It's similar to trying on new shoes. We try them out in the store, we know our size and the check to see if it feels good. When the horse is relaxed and correct in the contact, there will be mild chewing motion via the TMJ, which needs to be accounted for when adjusting nose bend tightness. And halfway between the end of the cheekbone and the end of the nasal bone, there is a hole in the skull. This is a point called foramen, where nerves come out of the bone. This is a very sensitive area that should be kept clear of all tech. If I were to adjust the nose bend so that it sits right underneath the cheekbone, it would sit directly on the foramen. That's why you should avoid it.